Hey, this is JM. Um, it's been a while since I made my last video, but I don't like to just make videos like every week or, you know, even on a necessarily on a regular basis. I try to look at what's going on around the world, let my thoughts sink in, and, and then I make a video when I'm ready to. I want to talk about what I think is going to be the biggest problem, and it is right now the biggest problem globally and even to a degree in the u.s is uh religious fundamentalism you look at all the attacks around the world particularly you see in the islamic religion whether it be europe africa asia um even the previous attacks we've had in the u.s and you look at who's having children who's not having children i remember i saw a uh, read a pew research done in 2015 and then just off of fertility rates, you know, um, it's basically religious people who are having the majority of the kids in the future and atheists and non-believers and secularists are going to make up less than, I think around maybe 10% of the world population, which is astounding figures. Um, I want to emphasize to people why I think more and more people need to pay attention, not just to Islamic terrorism, but religious fundamentalism in general that's growing. I know in the U.S. we're stuck on like the Russia issue and Black Lives Matter and 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 this other other stuff. And I'm not saying that these are not issues to think about or to try to take care of. But coming from somebody who's a minority within a minority, you know, yeah, I'm black, but I'm also gay and I'm also I don't believe in God. Um my lack of religion and my sexuality, um, it seems to be at great danger for people like me globally. When you look at atheists getting killed left and right, and like parts in Southeast Asia and other parts of the world just getting killed like it's open season. Um, and also gays getting thrown off buildings and executed and thrown into what you would call like almost like concentration camps in Chechnya. Religion is growing, fundamentalism is growing, and what pisses me off in, uh, in America right now, I don't have a problem with people believing in Christianity. I left the religion, I could, mm, it's, been, it's been a few years now. I grew up in the South, Southern Baptist Church, but I left the religion a, a while back. Um, I don't mind people being Christians, though I don't believe in the religion and I don't believe there's sufficient evidence that God exists. And so I, Christianity to me is just, you know, just it's a made up book. Um, of course, with a Republican president, you're always going to have a push from the religious right to to have laws enacted. So with Betsy DeVos, the secretary of education, she's trying to enforce religious freedom, basically welfare for the religious. She wants public funding for religious schools, et cetera, et cetera. What a lot of these idiotic Christians, I'm sorry to say, don't realize is if you want laws for the Christians. We live in a very pluralistic society now in America. It's not just all 90% white people that are predominantly Christian. Those days are over with, whether you like it or not. It's just fact. So we do have a, a growing number of other religions or a growing number of people from other religions, particularly Islam. Um, if you think that the Muslims won't start asking for funding for their, you know, for their schools, their mosques, their madrasas, however you want to call them, you're, in, you're just delusional. So you keep pushing for laws to favor Christianity. They're going to fight and say they want these, this, these laws in their favor too. And the way the, way the po politics are in the West, where, a lot, where predominantly um, the left is supporting, for some reason, Islam, um, they're going to get their way as well. So you might have the potential in the U.S. to have Christian schools growing and Islamic schools growing. And for somebody like me, who's not religious and who is a homosexual, um, that puts me and people like me in a very vulnerable situation. It could be a situation, again, to where our employment is infected and then hell. I mean, if you have more and more fundamentalist people in this country, my safety could possibly be affected in the future. And people like me. So, yeah, I am very, very looking at this pretty hard. And what's even more scary is when you see the situation in Minnesota believe it's Minnesota, where there is a case where like several doctors that perform FGM 
on young girls got arrested, but now they're fighting and saying it's part of their religion. And there's even several senators that are back in the Islamic community saying that it's part of their religious practice. So they're stalling um, this law that's trying to be passed in the state of Minnesota to, I think, sentence people that do these things for like 15, 20 plus years. They're trying to stall it or even reverse it. So it might be possible in the United States in 2017 or, or sometime in the future that FGM will be allowed. And if you're allowing little girls' clitorises to be cut off in this country, God knows what else is going to be allowed and tolerated. So, yeah, it is. I mean, all the signs globally, when you look at the growth of religion, just the demographics, the sheer vicious acts of terrorism going on around the world. Um, we seems like in a way we're headed to another dark age and who knows how that's going to be helped with the unstableness of, of most countries' economies. That's not going to, that's not helping either. So I think people, when you look at the news and you see all the, the stuff going on issues in America, besides religion with, you know, like I said, black lives matter or whatever, or just whatever political BS that goes on. Keep in mind, nothing, none of this compares to fundamentalist religious people. They don't care about your race. They don't care about your income. They don't care about any other thing, the fact that you're not like them and you don't believe in the God that they believe in. And they will kill you for that, among other things. That's all I have to say. Um, if you have any comments, leave them. If not, peace.